Welcome everyone. In today's session, we'll focus on Oracle Fusion costing interview questions. Understanding the key concepts and functionalities of Oracle Fusion costing is essential for acing interviews and advancing your career. Let's get started. What are the costing setups in Oracle Fusion? Defining cost organization. Defining cost book. Relationships. Defining value structures. Cost elements. Manage overhead expense pools. Cost component mapping. What are the costing setups in Oracle Fusion? Creating cost profiles, valuation unit, default cost profile, manage item cost profile. In case the cost method is controlled at the item level, this configuration is required. What is meant by cost book infusion? Cost book is nothing but, it's a book all your costed transactions. Explain about valuation structure. The valuation structure lets you define the inventory control attributes used to calculate and share costs within a cost organization. And the valuation unit represents the set of values for those control attributes. Explain about cost elements. Cost elements represent the various types of costs incurred in the production and procurement of goods. They provide a detailed breakdown of item costs throughout the inventory life cycle. Examples. Cost element type. Material cost. Material overhead. Resource cost. Explain about overhead expense pools. It is used to collect and allocate indirect costs, such as utilities, gas, electricity, rent, and administrative expenses to inventory items and manufacturing processes. Types, asset, expense. Explain about cost profiles. Cost profile is something which holds the costing method. Later cost profile has to be assigned to cost org if you want to control cost method at org level. Cost profile can be assigned to costing category also if you want to control cost method at category level. Cost profile can be assigned to item if you want to control cost method at item level. Explain about cost component mappings. We are mapping our cost element to the seeded cost elements. Predefined cost per landed cost, cost component, source cost component, code item, price freight, non-recoverable, tax dropship, back-to-back. -back. What are the costing methods available in Fusion? Standard costing, period average. Costing perpetual average costing, actual costing. Explain about period end validation types. Pending interface, pending cost, processing, pending pre-processing, pending create accounting in final mode, pending pre-processing of manufacturing transactions, work orders completed but not closed, pending revenue recognition events import. Explain about period end closing process. Make sure all the transactions are interfaced to costing. All the transactions are costed. Cost, roll up process completed. Make sure cost accounting distributions are created for that month. Make sure receipt accounting distributions are created for that month. Make sure to post all the costed transactions to the ledger. Explain about pending cost processing validation types. Pending cost processing. Items should have a cost associated. Then only interface transactions get processed. If any item is not having the cost, load the cost and process them. Explain about pending pre-processing and validation types. Pending pre-processing. It is a status that indicated certain inventory transactions have not yet been fully processed or validated. This status is often encountered during period end validations and can prevent the closure of accounting periods until all transactions are properly processed. Use the run validations task to identify and resolve any issues with pending transactions. Explain about pending create accounting in final mode validation types. Pending create accounting in final mode we must post all transactions to the ledger book to close the period. Explain about pending pre-processing of manufacturing transactions in validation types. Pending pre-processing of manufacturing transactions. It indicates that some manufacturing transactions are still in the queue to be processed. These transactions need to be validated and accounted for before the period can be closed. Explain about completed work orders not closed in validation types. Completed work orders not closed. This validation checks for work orders that have been marked as completed, but have not yet been closed. A work order is considered closed when all transactions related to it are fully processed and no further actions are required. Explain about pending revenue recognition events import in validation types. 
pending revenue recognition events import. This validation checks for any revenue recognition events that have not yet been imported or processed. These events needs to be completed to ensure that revenue is recognized correctly in the financial systems. Revenue recognitions events may be pending due to incomplete or incorrect data. Explain about pending pre-processing of trade events in validation types. Pending pre-processing of trade events. This validation checks for any trade events that have not yet been processed. Trade events include transactions related to buying and selling of goods and services. Trade-related transactions include any exchange of goods or services between parties, whether within a country or across borders. Explain about pending processing of trade events and validation types. Pending processing of trade events. This validation checks for any trade events that have not yet been processed. Trade events include transactions related to buying and selling of goods and services. Trade-related transactions include any exchange of goods or services between parties, whether within a country or across borders. Thanks for watching today's session on Oracle Fusion costing interview questions. Looking for Oracle Fusion SCM training? Register now at Tech Leads IT. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more valuable content. Don't forget to comment with any questions or thoughts you have. We'd love to hear from you. Best of luck in your career, and see you in the next video.